Do you guys want to hear my impression of Chris Pratt? It's a me, a Chris Pratt. That's not the voice, you have to wait to hear the voice. This video was supposed to be made last Sunday, but I love procrastinating. Also, if you're wondering why I have Mario in the void, that's to not get this video taken down, so. I hope you all enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mario movie is officially out in theaters, and I must say, it's a 0 out of 10, no poochie, what kind of film is this even trying to be, okay? You can't have a Mario film without the main character! Okay, to be serious, I really love this film. I've seen it three times already, I highly recommend seeing it at least twice. I think the film benefits from a second watch. I li I loved it the first time, but I think I, I think I appreciated it even more the second time. And yes, that is me being a Mario fan. So yes, I am very biased, and if you don't like bias, then I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, uh, let's just start with the with the basics. Uh, the animation, mm, mwah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Every every frame in this movie is a painting, and I want to hang it up on my wall and just enjoy the crap out of it. Uh, the comedy is subjective. In this film's comedy, uh, I like it. Honestly, it's, okay, yeah, let, let's talk about it real quick. This film is made by Illumination, and honestly, it doesn't really feel like it most of the time. It really feels like more of like a Sony film, if I'm going to be quite honest, and I know that might not make any sense because I'm just making stuff up as I go, but let me just say that I really, I really like the comedy. I thought the comedy was fun. I thought that the characters were fun. Most of the dialogue got a good chuckle out of me, and I think that that is cool. That is pretty freaking cool. Uh, in terms of story... <laughs> okay, look, I know I know the whole, like, critic audience thing. Uh, I don't really care. I just want to say that I really like the story. I know that it's, like, it doesn't have any stakes to it. It doesn't have any, like, real, like, big big thing about it. It's not like the most complex thing in the world. It could have been a bit longer. I would have liked the film to have benefited from longer scenes. Uh, like, uh, I appreciate the briskness of most of it. I just, I just wish that some scenes, like some scenes are so fun and good. I just wish they could have lasted a bit longer. Uh, it's fine though. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's a, it's a decent length for a very good film. And, uh, the voice cast. <laughs> Let's talk about the voice cast. <laughs> Uh, when I first heard that Chris Pratt was going to be Mario, I was kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. Kind of scared. Um, I didn't mind him. I thought he was pretty good. Honestly, honestly, like halfway through the film, I kind of forgot it was Chris Pratt. And I was just kind of enjoying the, I was just enjoying the performance. And everyone else did a pretty good job too. Anya Taylor-Joy was a very <clears throat> spirited Princess Peach. Uh, Charlie Day, as much as Luigi did get sidelined in the movie, I did love his performance as well. Bowser. I know everyone's saying, oh, Jack Black stole the show, and that's because he did. Bowser is really, really freaking fun. Uh, Keegan-Michael Key was a surprise to me. I didn't expect him to make me like Toad as much as I did. He was so charming. Uh, Seth Rogen is Seth Rogen. He does the laugh. I can't, I can't, I can't do the laugh. Um, uh, Fred Armisen. <laughs> uh, he's probably the weakest link of the voice cast. I don't even hate it. I don't even hate what he does. I just thought that it was just it was just a weird direction to take him. I don't I don't hate it though. It was it was fine. Um who else <laughs> who else was in this film? Uh Kamek. I really liked Kamek. Ka uh, Kevin Michael Richardson did a really good job. I liked the whole Peter Laurie thing. Oh my 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 leader. I, that's not that's not good either. I need to stop that right now. Uh Sebastian Miniscalco as Spike. <laughs> That was like, well, he had like two scenes in the movie. He, I liked him. I liked his performance. Uh, it was cute. <laughs> I, I, I remember people were like, oh, I really can't wait to see Spike. I can't wait to see Spike. And he gets like two scenes in the whole movie. <laughs> that was funny. Um, what else can I talk about? I guess we can talk about something else. Um, I can't think of anything. Yeah. Um, anyway, go see this film. It's really fun. I'm not, there, there's no spoilers in this. Just go see it. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's freaking dope, bruh. Just go. It's fun. Turn your brain off or don't. Honestly, it's not even one of those kind of films. It's honestly just a film. It's just a fun watch. It's just fun to rewatch and just see and just experience. You'll have a good time. I think if I was to give it a rating, I would give it a 16 out of 10. 